We're going to continue now with the Dake Bible, but this is not the Dake Annotated Reference Bible that we're just referring to, but this is another book that I mentioned before, which was done in a series of lectures. This one here is the Dake God's Plan for Man, and what you can see down here is what it means is the key to the world's storehouse of wisdom. Now, of course, for Dake, the Bible is the world's storehouse of wisdom in many forms. So what this book is, is a bringing into uh, paper form a series of lectures that were given uh, for many years before. So each of these sections in here is one of those lectures and it's somewhat like his other bible because it has a huge amount of scripture references um uh in fact genesis 1 1 says the creation of the material universe genesis 1 1 and then he explains it all right down here and then when he continues uh he goes into a great deal of explanation and one thing of course he's very good at it he'll take hebrew or greek words and give you their real meaning he's very careful about in his annotated reference bible and this as well along with scripture references but then he goes to the next section called the creation of the spirit world you notice he makes a difference there between the creation of the material world and the spirit world they're two different events according to dake then you go how god created and made the material universe how god created and made other material universe again and uh, so on and then after each section he has a group of questions for you to answer once you've read this and the scripture references to go with it two particularly interesting sections to me and i'll show you briefly is one of them here called the names of god now, the names of God, naturally, names, you know, this name of not name of God, the names of God, the doctrine of the Trinity. Now, that is a very interesting thing. Then he's got names of God in the Old Testament, what they are, where you can find them and what they mean. He's got the names of God in the New Testament. He goes again all through this in great detail. And um, one of the interesting things about Dake is in the way he deals with the Trinity, somewhat different than others deal with the Trinity, because to him, the Trinity is not uh, as much a unity as it is in the normal Christian view, where you have Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but they're all unified because they belong to the same group. They're not segmented out in small groups where Dake says every part of the Trinity not only is spiritual and is related to the others but it's also separate in some ways has a particular manifestation that can be known there he is different than some other theologians uh, and he has a great deal of scripture not only in this Bible in fact if you use this along with the Dake Annotated Reference Bible, and you get a piece of scripture here that says he's proving his point, and you go to look it up in the other Bible, there you will find even more details that proves the point he is making here. So actually, a very good way to do study of uh, the Dake Bible is to use these two books together. And I said it would take a long time to use the Dake Annotated Reference Bible because the huge amount of notes and details It'll take even longer, longer, very long to use these two together. But once again, the amount of wisdom you get between these two books is absolutely huge. Now, what we will do in our next short video is to take a look at one particular section in this to give you an idea of what it's like. I appreciate you watching, and I wish you have an extremely happy day.